Hey guys, so I couldn't decide whether to do a tiger or a lion, so I decided to do both. So I hope you enjoy it, and let's get started. So I started out with drawing the line that separates the tiger side from the lion side, and then I just covered the entire, pretty much the entire lion side with yellow and half of the tiger side, leaving spaces for the white and the orange. Then I went in with the orange, filled in those spots, made sure to blend it with the yellow. Then I went around the eye with white. If you mess up, just go ahead and just blend it back in, nobody will know the difference. And then I went in with some white eyeshadow to set it so it didn't crease. And then I went under the lion eye with white. I did use reference pictures for this, and as you can probably see, I re referenced them a lot. Unfortunately, the reference pictures were on my computer screen, which happened to be right behind my camera. And then I went in with some light brown, and I did some, um, some more details on the lion side. Again, I just used the reference picture that I that I had up. Then I took some white, went around the muzzle, and put a little bit of white on the tip of the nose, just to kind of soften it and highlight it. Then I went in with black, and I traced that dividing line. Outline my eye with the black face paint. And just so you know, if you get paint in your eye, it really sucks. So try really hard not to do that. Then for the tiger stripes, um, again, I used the reference picture and they don't have to be perfect. Have fun, be creative with it. Then for the nose, I went over it with pink gave it the basic shape that I wanted. And I did notice that lion's noses, lion's noses? I did notice that the lion's nose does come down in kind of like a V. It's a very pointy bottom nose. And then when I w outlined the nose in black, um, I took a dry brush and I pulled that wet paint in to kind of give it some shading because in the picture also, it's kind of like black blended with pink. And another thing that kind of sucks is if your nose starts running when you have paint on your nose. Then for the whisker area, I took the light brown paint and made dots where the whiskers are going to go and then I took my finger and just kind of blended it out a little bit so they weren't perfect dots. And then I did some hair details with the light brown. And then went around the the chin with hair like strokes in white as well. And also on top of the light brown hairs. I always get a few phone calls between 10 p.m. and midnight. Then I took some br brown eyeshadow and did some more shading. Then I took some dark brown eyeshadow and went along the dividing line to kind of give it that shadow. And it was about that time that I realized I should have done the whiskers after the shading. And then I went on the other side of the line with some white eyeshadow to kind of give it some highlight to make it look more raised off the skin. And then I went in with some black eyeshadow to kind of deepen that shadow. And 
there you have it. There is your tiger slash lion or liger or tigon. I don't know. I don't know which way is the best way to say that. Liger? I think Liger sounds better. I hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought about this tutorial, maybe what you'd like to see next. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.